Love truly is blind. Lust may not be, but love definitely is. We made a whole video about couples who prove love is blind, but it turns out that there are so many more we could make a whole other video. And who knows, maybe soon it'll be a trilogy. These are the most unusual couples proving that love is blind, too. Number 20. Esteban Landro and Donna Sultana A touching photo of a Colombian transgender model caressing her husband's eight-month baby Belle has gone viral. Donna Sultana, who was born female but identifies as a man, and Esteban Landro, who was born a man but identifies as a woman, are expecting a child. The model posted the lovely photo to her 219,000 Instagram followers, along with the phrase, love is love. According to local media, the infatuated couple conceived their child naturally because both Donna and Esteban still had their original organs. Esteban, who is eight months pregnant, recently believed he was feeling contractions and was about to go into premature labor. The worried couple went to a nearby hospital and even contacted their relatives to inform them of their child's impending birth. Doctors told them that his sensations were common for the eighth month of pregnancy, especially given the the size of their baby, and they went home to prepare for the big day. Donna is seen stroking and caressing Esteban's big tummy while he grins for the camera in a sweet video uploaded to the model's social media account. They also shared sweet photographs of themselves standing in their backyard before revealing that their son's name will be Ariel. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. For our juicy topic today, we've got not just one couple that prove love is blind, but two. Love really is blind. On the left, you'll see Elisani da Silva and her fiancé, Francinaldo Carvalho. Traditionally, people might think the man should be the taller one in a heterosexual romance, but as you can see, she towers over him. She's actually a seven-foot model. And on the right, you'll see Kyle Jones and Marjorie McCool. She may not be taller than him, but she is older. A lot older. At 91 years old, she's 60 years older than him. Love must truly be blind. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 19. Eudoxy Yao, Ivorian singer and her tiny partner, Guinean rich man, Grand P. Grant P. and Eudoxy Yao have reunited just a few weeks after calling it quits on their love. The artist shared a video of himself driving Eudoxy to the airport on Instagram. Grant P. remarked with the video, Reconciliation between me and Madame. His story with my manager is not true after checking. I am now quiet. Miss Kaba, I love you to love. The famous musician then proceeded to publish provocative photographs of himself with his bow. Love is taking care of each other even when we are angry. I love you, Eudoxy Yao, the caption said. Eudoxy Yao, an Ivorian, uploaded a photo on Facebook with the remark, a simple act is better than beautiful words that result in nothing. <laughs> Good evening, my babies, since your geolocation. Following infidelity claims that shattered their relationship, the two lovebirds had a falling out a few weeks ago. Yao stated on her social media accounts that she has opted to focus on her work. My babies, I am officially single, but not a heart to take. I'm going to focus on my music. Good weekend to you. Shortly after their breakup, Grand P produced a song professing his everlasting love to Eudoxy. Was the song merely a ruse to claim his girlfriend, or are they head over heels in love? Eudoxy Yao is an Ivorian singer who is most known for her colossal hips. Grand P is a well-known musician in Guinea. He has been humiliated and marginalized for his looks because he suffers from progeria, which makes him appear different. Number 18. Sean Stevenson and Mindy Niss 
Some women believe that dating a shorter guy is impossible, but Mindy Niss, whose husband Sean Stevenson stands at 2 foot 8, is unconcerned. The motivational speakers met in 2009 through a mutual acquaintance and married in 2012 when Mindy moved to Chicago to be closer to Sean. It's a joy to be married to this woman. Not a day goes by when I don't tell her I love her like 8,000 times, says Sean. People think she's sweet for being in love with me, but they've got it wrong. I'm the saint in this marriage. I take care of her. Despite their contentment, internet trolls have said that Sean would never be able to please Mindy sexually and that she is only with him for his money. Yeah, and some relationships you're not meant to be in. And I had to clear the air, Mindy, 36, who stands at 4 foot 11, added, just because he's handicapped doesn't mean we don't have a great sexual relationship. It wasn't love at first sight, but Sean is one of the most sexual people I've ever met. It's appalling to suggest that my husband cannot satisfy me sexually, and it's none of their business. I'm the most sexual person I know, her spouse admits. Probably the most important aspect of my life is sex. Sean was born with us osteogenesis imperfecta, or brittle bone disorder as it is more generally known. Due to his disease, which inhibits bone development, he is just 33.6 inches tall, and has shorter than usual legs. Sean sustained approximately 200 fractures in his legs, arms, neck, collarbone, ankle, femur, and nose by the time he was 18. He shattered his head, ankle, kneecap, thigh, and hip bone in his greatest injury, which occurred when he fell from his wheelchair while walking his dog. Number 17. Kyle Jones and Marjorie McCool Kyle Jones, a 31-year-old Pittsburgher, appears to be typical of most guys his age. He does, however, have a unique choice in women with whom he dates. He loves to date ladies who are decades his senior. For example, he dated Marjorie McCool, a 91-year-old woman who was 60 years his senior. The pair was featured on a documentary series called Extreme Love in 2014, where they discussed their five-year romance extensively. Kyle acknowledged that dating ladies two to three three times his age was not his first time. While it may look strange to some, he claims that he is no different than other guys who like plus-sized women or individuals of particular identities. I like lines, I like neck features, I'm into platinum hair, he said. Some people are wired towards blondes, brunettes, big women, skinny women. In 2009, the pair met in a bookshop where Marjorie worked. Marjorie consented to go on a date with Kyle after being single for 37 years after divorcing her husband and the father of her six children. When I first met Kyle, I was quite thrilled. It's very flattering to have a younger guy chase you, and he was very nice. Sometimes I feel like he's another son. Until we hop into bed, then I feel different, Marjorie explained. Many individuals were skeptical of his motives, which came as no surprise to them, but Kyle said he was not seeking any money. Marjorie concurred, claiming that she doesn't have any money anyway. Number 16. Alexia Shrout Lives With Her Two Husbands Although most of us are aware of what polyandry entails, not everyone has witnessed it in action. Polyandry is a type of polygamy that is the polar opposite of polygamy. Polygamy is when a man marries more than one woman, and polyandry is where a woman marries more than one man. Alexia Shrout has chosen to speak out about her polyandry marriage. Alexia has two spouses, and they all live peacefully in the same house in Maumee, Ohio. Do I think they're going to come over and take over my entire life? Girl, go ahead. Living together isn't an issue for Alexia Shrout, whose husband's names are Doug Shrout and Jacob Shrout McAfee. And their marriage is graced with three children, two boys and a girl. Alexia and Doug were the beginning of this group's adventure. Both of them were in an open relationship at the time, and Alexia met Jacob during that time. Before Alexia met Jacob, she'd been in a relationship with Doug for almost 15 years. After a few years, they decided to welcome Jacob, the second guy, into their home. Number 15. Gabriella and Victor Peralta Gabriella and Victor Peralta have 50 piercings, 4 microdermals, 11 body implants, 5 dental implants, 4 ear expanders, 2 ear bolts, and 1 forked tongue between them. The two are likewise covered in tattoos, with Victor covering 90% of his body and Gabriella 65%. They hold the Guinness World Record for the world's most modified married pair. Alicia Rojas is the name of Alicia. Le mando un saludo. <laughs> 
Gabriela, 42, and Victor, 43, both from Buenos Aires, Argentina, have been together for 13 years and describe each other as perfect. We spent Valentine's Day together, we cooked a meal together, I got to spend the day with my queen, Gabby, Victor added. We met 18 years ago, we are perfect for each other and we love each other very much. We both have lots of tattoos and modifications, and we continue to get them. We don't really care what other people think. Victor's first tattoo was the word fuck across his fingers when he was 13, and Gabriella's was a crimson rose on her chest that has since been covered up. Gabriella has been a piercer and body modification for six years, and he had been a professional piercer for 20 years. Number 14. Vince, 74 married woman 40 years younger. Leslie was well aware that Vincent Forello was 40 years her senior, but it made no difference to her. Despite a decades-long age difference and the opinions of others, this couple insists that their bond is real. This is the tale of their lives. Leslie Hunter is a multi-talented woman. She obtained a bachelor's degree in economics from Illinois' Wesleyan University after graduating from high school. Leslie was an excellent student, but her interests extended beyond the classroom. Leslie worked in a variety of modeling and promotion jobs after graduation. She posed for bikini and apparel lines and marketed energy drinks in grocery shops. Hunter's biggest interest, though, was competing in beauty pageants and meeting other ambitious women. Vincent had a taste for music even before he rose to the top of the banking sector, and it appeared as though fate was pulling for a low to the lovely woman playing the piano next to him as he stepped to the stage one night in Chicago. Of course, we're talking about Leslie. Leslie and Vince's 40-year age difference wasn't the only, uh, shall we say, uncomfortable age disparity involved. Hunter quickly discovered that she was also younger than her boyfriend's children, further complicating the situation. It wasn't a simple task, but they are truly happy, it seems. Number 13. Ivoon and Jonathan with a height difference of almost a foot and a half, Ivoon and Jonathan are used to receiving unwelcome detention when they go out in public. But that doesn't stop them. Jonathan is under the normal male height of 5 feet 4, but Ivoon is even smaller at just 3'10". The pair, who have been together for almost 6 years and have a 2-year-old daughter, were even mistaken for father and daughter. Sometimes when we're out in public, people believe I have two kids, Jonathan said. Every time we go out, there are always reactions, Ivoon said says, when they see strangers or fans snapping photographs of them together, the couple from Midlothian, Illinois, has even created a code phrase. It's pretty crazy when you get the guys have got the phone right here, and they're trying to, like, hide it. We use keywords like, okay, I see a fan. I just look at them and they'll put their head down and be like, oh man. Like they caught me, Ivoon explained. Ivoon's height is attributed to a rare disease called Fanconi Bickel Syndrome, which she was born with. Condition that affects my liver. She used to be confined to a wheelchair as a kid, and while now she can walk alone, she still needs a wheelchair for long distances. She also has a feeding tube. The condition caused renal problems, which hampered Ivoon's ability to properly develop and produce strong bones as she grew older. Number 12. Elisane and Francinaldo an undiagnosed pituitary gland tumor has transformed a woman into a near seven-foot-tall behemoth who towers over her family and spouse. Elisane Silva, a 26-year-old aspiring model from Salinopolis, Brazil, has been called Brazil's tallest woman due to her height of 6 feet 8 inches. She is the tallest member of her family, towering over her husband, Francinaldo da Silva Carvalho, 31 who is at 5 feet 4 inches tall. Since I was 10 years old, I always noticed there was something not quite right, as I was the only one in my family and class that stood at a staggering 5 feet 9 inches, Alessane said. Ana Maria Ramos and Louise George, Ana Maria's parents, had no clue their daughter would grow to reach nearly 7 feet tall. Elisane began experiencing severe bone pain and a buildup of pressure in her head when she was 10 years old, which she believes was caused by her rapid growth. 
Her mother became anxious when she was already 5 feet 9 inches tall. She saw a doctor who wanted to run a series of tests to determine her ailment, but her family couldn't afford the fees. The couple got engaged and married in September 2015. They had a child, Angelo, who is now 3 years old. Number 11. Paolo Gabriel da Silva Barros and Katyusha Hoshino are the world's shortest couple. Eight years after meeting on social media, the world's smallest couple has got engaged. Katyusha Hoshino and Paolo Gabriel da Silva Barros, both from Brazil, are dwarves with a combined height of 5 feet and 8 inches. During a sushi meal, Paolo, 30, proposed to his girlfriend in front of their friends. Katyusha, 27, double-checked that he wasn't joking before accepting with a big grin. Katyusha and Paolo, who are 35.2 and 34.8 inches tall, respectively aim to make the Guinness Book of World Records by marrying and becoming the world's tiniest married couple. Yes! Guinness World Records Day! Yes! Paolo and Katyusha met on a social networking platform and began an MSN messenger conversation. Paolo, who suffers from a rare genetic disease known as diastrophic dysplasia dwarfism, fell in love at first sight. Katyusha, on the other hand, did not respond and first blocked him on the instant messaging service. She suffers from achondroplasia dwarfism, a bone growth disorder. The first time I spoke with Paolo, he was really annoying. Katyusha described him as having cheap pickup lines. If Katyusha hadn't decided to unblock him 18 months later, it would have been the end of the matter. Not long after Paolo gathered the confidence to ask the question, Paolo and Katyusha have begun planning their wedding. He'd promised Katyusha that he would take her out to eat. Number 10. Couple Bree and Sheldon Bree Skeles was severely injured in a vehicle accident when she was six years old. She now suffers from hemiplegia and will spend the rest of her life in a wheelchair. Bree explained, I know that the wheelchair not only affects my life, but it also changes people's judgment of me. Can't move really from here down, can't feel from knees down. And... Bree has struggled with a mental illness since the tragedy. She never publishes pictures of her lower body or wheelchair on social media. The 26-year-old woman never reveals her handicap on dating services. Bree's life changed when she met Sheldon Nguyen, a 29-year-old Vietnamese man who has taught her to accept herself and start a new life. Despite this, Bree was taken aback by Sheldon, who she characterized as a cool and handsome man during their first meeting. The appearance and style of one another drew them together. The 29-year-old Sheldon claims that he and his girlfriend are a perfect couple after two years of dating. Bree began studying for a master's degree while looking for modeling jobs after coming to New York in 2017. Her efforts were rewarded two years later. Bree and her wheelchair graced the runways at New York Fashion Week and New York Bridal Week in 2019. Number 9. She Got Married at 91 – A True Jamaican Love Story some women believe that if they do not marry before the age of 40, it will just never happen. However, one Jamaican woman demonstrated that she did not share this viewpoint. Evelina Meter Wilson, a St. Thomas resident, is living proof that love and marriage may happen at any age, even in one's golden years. Evelina and her 73-year-old husband, Calgent Wilson, married on January 22nd, Evelina's 91st birthday. It was a two-for-one occasion. The wedding was held at their house in Yala's and was a huge success. Her hair and cosmetics were done by her granddaughter from Montego Bay, St. James. On YouTube, you can see the two grinning on their wedding day. As the two locked lips to seal their vows, the tiny crowd erupted in applause. According to Evelina, the two care strongly about each other and have formed a peaceful relationship as a result. She also stressed the importance of spouses not discussing their conflicts with others outside of the home. We try to make peace before sundown, Evelina said from the Bible as another essential for a healthy partnership. You can't go to bed in wrath, you have to make peace. Calgent Wilson had had one child, who has since passed away. Number 8. Sultan Kosin and Merv Debo Sultan Kosin of Turkey, the world's tallest man at 8 feet 3 inches, 2.51 meters, says he and his bride would want to locate a comfy automobile. 
According to the Anadolu Agency, Kosin was supposed to marry Merv Debo, who is nearly two and a half feet shorter than he is, on Sunday in Mardin. <laughs> When an acquaintance introduced him to Debo, as he was preparing for his wedding, the Guinness Book of World Records certified tallest man in the world said that he had given up hope on finding a life mate. According to the news agency, Kosin said all he needed now was a car that could suit his frame so he could drive comfortably with Debo. Kosin is a Guinness World Record holder for his approximately 9-inch broad hands and 14-plus inch long feet, in addition to his record height. Now I will have my own family and private life, he said. While saying it was, unfortunate I could not find a suitable girl of my own size, Kosin said, but I believe I found the person for me. Kosin's acromegaly was caused by a tumor in his pituitary gland, which produced gigantism and acromegaly. He walks on crutches due to his illness. He is the seventh tallest man in history, having been born to a Kurdish family in the southern city of Mardin. Number 7. Amy Wolf and 1001 Notch Noble's Amusement Resort revealed a new ride for the 2020 season on Thursday. However, it is doing so at the expense of a ride that one woman in particular enjoyed. We don't just mean liked, we mean really enjoyed. Amy Wolf chose to marry the Noble's 1001 Notch Ride in 2009. Regrettably, that roller coaster is being dismantled to make way for a new one, Tornado. She rode 1001 Notch tens of thousands of times before deciding to marry it. She rode it for the first time when she was 13 years old. I love him as much as women love their husbands, and I know we'll be together for the rest of our lives, she added. I was sexually and intellectually attracted to him right away. That's, that's when it seems to happen, when the relationships fizzle out. Wolf is known for her objectum sexuality, or real love for inanimate objects. Wolf also stated in a 2009 article that she is married to other things, including a banister and pipe organ. Objectum sexuality is said to be the outcome of an incapacity to create human connections. When a German lady married the Berlin Wall, the concept was born. Wolf is said to sleep with a photo of the decommissioned Nobles Ride nearby, as well as some spare nuts from 1001 Notch. Number 6. Erica Anderson Erica Anderson, 37, of Berlin, New York, prepared a traditional wedding that included a white gown, floral bouquet, and a stroll down the aisle. Only no one was expecting her, which was exactly what she wanted. Anderson claimed she was wary of everyone wondering why she was still unmarried, so she married herself in front of her friends and family. Self-marriage, also known as sologamy, is becoming more popular partially as a result of its appearance in popular culture, such as in an episode of Sex and the City. The trend has spread throughout the world and businesses are attempting to profit from it. Marry Yourself in Canada provides wedding planning and photography. Jeffrey Levin of San Francisco founded the website imarriedme.com. We are enough, even if we're not partnered. There are sologamy ceremony packages with a wedding band, daily affirmation cards, and vows available. I believe it has grown over time and it is something that is getting better recognized and accepted, Levin added. Anderson married to celebrate her freedom, and she feels that others should do the same. Anderson replied, you're worth it. Anderson recently returned from a solo vacation to Mexico to commemorate her one-year anniversary. She stated that, despite being married to herself, she is dating and will to marry another person. Number 5. Woman Marries Dog in Traditional Ceremony in India A girl has married a dog in order to appease her family, who believe that by doing so, she will be free of a curse. Mangli Munda, 18, was forced to walk down the aisle with a stray dog her father rescued as part of the barking mad ritual. Since her fellow villagers in India's Jharkhand state believe this will transmit the curse from her to the animal. I am not happy with this marriage, she stated. <laughs> Her spouse, a dog named Shiru, arrived in his own chauffeur-driven car, though he may not have realized what was going on. The event is part of a local custom in which young ladies marry dogs first. 
then marry a human man. The idea is that the dog would bless their marriage with longevity. Although marriage was not legally valid, everything was done in the right manner for a traditional Hindu wedding, with Shinu patiently sitting by his new bride's side the entire time, allowing Mongli to now choose a suitable spouse. Mongli's mother said, We have spent money on this wedding. That is the only way we can get rid of her bad luck and ensure the benevolence of the village. Number 4. Man Married to a Bearded Lady a self-described bearded lady has spoken out about ditching the razor in favor of learning to live with her facial hair. Annalisa Hackelman, a California photographer, first acquired facial hair at the age of 13 and was diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome, a hormonal disorder. Annalisa's mother took her to have laser hair removal since the growing hair made her feel extremely self-conscious. However, the method did not last long and the photographer soon found himself in a struggle. Shaving twice a day at times, she was depressed and she even acquired agoraphobia, making it impossible for her to leave the house. Annalisa was able to overcome her challenges owing to the love of her life, David. The two met when David was blown away by some of Annalisa's photos on a friend's Facebook page. They hit it off right away. When they met, Annalisa gradually let her beard grow out, taking longer and longer pauses from shaving until she felt comfortable not shaving at all. She and David have been dating for eight years and are approaching their fifth wedding anniversary. She's now spoken out on national television about her battles with facial hair and finding love. Number 3. Thai Man Marries Dead Girlfriend Chadil Defi, a 28-year-old Thai man, married his fiancée after she died in a vehicle accident. Defi and his girlfriend, Sarinya Kemsuk, 29, were planning to marry. A wedding is regarded as the most important occasion in a woman's life, and Sarinya's was no exception. She was counting down the days until she and the love of her life could finally say I do, but fate had other ideas for the young lovers. Sarinya was involved in a traffic accident just days before the wedding, badly injuring herself. She could have survived if medical help had arrived sooner. However, instead of sending her to another hospital, the physicians had her wait for six hours owing to an overcrowded ICU. She succumbed to her injuries and died while she was waiting. Defi and Sarinya had been dating for 10 years before deciding to be married. They had postponed the wedding numerous times owing to hectic schedules and Defi's desire to finish his degree before marrying. He couldn't let Sarinya go without achieving her dearest dream after her tragic death. As a result, he chose to marry her corpse. Defi married his girlfriend's dead body in a Buddhist ceremony on January 4th. Surin, a city in northern Thailand, hosted the event. Number 2. Japanese Man Marries Virtual Reality Character Akihiko Kondo removed the veil on his wife and kissed her in front of over 40 wedding guests who were capturing the memorable occasion. The only snag, Hatsune Miku, Kondo's wife, is a virtual reality celebrity created by a Japanese music technology business. In a $18,000 ceremony in Tokyo, Kondo, 35, and Hatsune Miku, who was represented by a stuffed doll, proclaimed themselves married. Kondo returned home from work at a middle school in the suburbs a week after the marriage and was welcomed by the holographic image of his lifelong love, who physically lighted up and welcomed him home. Hatsune Miku's hologram, which has an integrated camera and microphone, recognizes Kondo's face and voice and can reply with simple words and melodies. Kondo has found satisfaction in his arrangement despite the fact that she is not a corporeal person. Hatsune Miku has the look of a 16-year-old anime pop diva with two big blue pigtails. She was created as a computer-generated singing software based on Krypton Future Media's voice synthesis technology. Kondo was sure from an early age that he would never marry and would remain single for the rest of his life. He claims that an incident of job bullying by a female supervisor 10 years ago sealed his fate and encouraged him to remain unmarried. He claimed he has remained committed and devoted his life to Hatsune Miku, who has thousands of followers both locally and worldwide, since determining she was the one. Number 1. Felicity Codlick Rossi is married to her zombie doll Kelly 
A 20-year-old American lady has married her zombie doll and wants to have children with it in a ceremony straight out of Tim Burton's worst nightmare. Felicity Kotlick tied the knot with her doll Kelly Rossi, a 37-year-old zombie doll in a small ceremony in Rhode Island. Kotlick's close friends and relatives, as well as a number of Kotlick's other zombie dolls, were present for the event. Kotlick's father supposedly gave her the doll when she was a youngster because she was a lover of zombie dolls and horror movies. Following her father's death a year ago, the two became closer. Kodlik informed media reporters that she and the doll had married and that they were now trying to start a family. But I used to talk about that when I was little and people thought it was weird or because... According to The Sun, Kodlik stated that the two are investigating different possibilities, including a sperm donor. The names of the two lovebirds are even tattooed on their arms. Perhaps Kodlik's tattoo was a little more painful than Rossi, the zombie dolls. Would you like to marry a zombie doll? Or how about your family dog? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!